And just to give you a glimpse of the entire place. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Corner here. And we are still here in Tokyo, Japan. And it is the Sakura season already. Right now, this is one of the streets of Nihonbashi. And as you can see here, there are people lining up. Very pretty. They are very pretty, especially in the person. And to be honest with you, I can't even find proper words how to describe it aside from pink and beautiful because that's what it is. Our agenda for today is have lunch at Hajime Tonkatsu here in Nihonbashi. And then later, let's just explore the streets of this place. Everyone's enjoying their time here right now because, yeah, it is very pretty. You'll find even sweet spots of Sakura here that are being bombarded with photographers and people like me who are making content out of it. We just arrived here at the Hajime Tonkatsu. Unfortunately, the line is really, really long right now. So we might opt out to a different restaurant. But even though there's a long queue there, this is the view that you will see. Here is my personal take here. If the wind is blowing, it is a very beautiful sight because of the petals being blown away. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but from my perspective here, they are. It just looks good with the pink petals and then you have the blue sky. Ah. Most of the restaurants are all queued up. We decided to just get lost somewhere and then try local restaurants like this one. I don't know. They have these things, karage. I guess these can be a good option. Just like what the great Anthony Bourdain always say, get lost in the city if it's new to you. Eat like a local and enjoy. So we found this one. It's a ramen shop. Might give it a try. So this is the place that we're going to have our lunch. Let's try the local food. There are a lot of locals here eating, so I guess this is a good option. I don't know if you can hear me guys, but all you have to do is insert your money and then pick whichever food you want. They also have an uh, English menu, so it's very easy. Okay boys, so I don't know what have I done <laughs> about our order, because this is really big. Look at my hand. It's bigger than my hand, and look at this. Oh no, I have a good feeling that this is an excellent find. This is the aftermath of our lunch. It's just too much food. It's really heavy, but it is really good. Unfortunately, we cannot finish it all. Please don't get mad at us if we cannot finish this, because I know it's a norm here in Japan to finish your food, but unfortunately, we really, really are full already. This is how this ramen shop looks like from the outside. Again, it's Haruka. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a normal ramen chain here, but you see. Again, this is somewhere in Nihonbashi. I'll try to look at it at Google Maps, and then I'll just pin it on the description box down below. So, if you guys are interested, that is the Hajime Tonkatsu, and then walk down to this area, and that's where you can find it. That amount of food is not a joke. It's too much, like super much. <laughs> We were not able to finish it, obviously, but there is no hint of regret in choosing that restaurant. And again, we're back to the street with cherry blossoms, where everything is pretty. So we are just going to walk you down on this beautiful alley. I don't even know what's the name of this place. All I know is just Nihonbashi. If you guys are familiar with this one, you can also put it on the comment section. We are now at Kawasaki and we're going to check a place that you guys are quite familiar. This is the Book of Super Bazaar at Kawasaki. And as you guys know, we have an episode few weeks ago or few months ago about this place, Book of Super Bazaar. But that was in Chiba. So this one, we are at Kawasaki. If you haven't watched that episode, I will put the link on the description box as well so you can check it later. Just to give you a quick background about Book of Super Bazaar, if you guys don't know, it is a thrift store or a second-hand store. And as you guys know, Japanese are kind of known for keeping their items in a very pristine condition. That's why second-hand stores like this one are well-recommended, especially if you are on a tight budget. Not really tight, but 
quite of a budget. Wow! In terms of size, it kind of exceeded my expectation. So I can't wait to see what's inside. I was kind of hyped up about it, but apparently the book of Super Bazaar is at the second floor. But the first floor is kind of an electronic store as well. So you guys can check that one later. But for now, we're going to focus this one. Right off the bat, we saw this, let's say, an expensive side of book off. These are the branded items here. For example, LV. See the prices? So I don't know if these are reasonable, but you guys let me know in the comment section. We finally saw what we are looking for, guys. We are really looking for some watch. Honestly speaking, guys, I've been hunting for some watches to, uh, for the past few days. And this is the first time I saw a good selection of watch that I might buy. But I'm not yet sure. This looks good. I'm kind of digging this Spalding watch because of the kanji day. And, but I'm not sure if it's legit, but if you guys are in Japan, you might know already that selling counterfeit items are, is prohibited. So there's a good chance that these are legit. I wanted to buy this because I wanted this black with the kanji day. So for 16,000 yen, I'm, I might. I might. It's official, boys. We pulled the trigger and make sure to bring your passport so that you can get it tax-free. I'm not the biggest watch guy, but for the past few years, I'm always on quartz. And I've always wanted to have a kanji, uh, kanji watch. So at the same time, it became my first ever automatic watch. I got the item reserved here under my name. By the way, they told me that they're opening their store at 10 a.m. and then they close us at 9 p.m. So make sure that you are within that time frame. I'm just glad that we are finally done hunting for that automatic watch, but probably I'm not yet done looking for something like that. I still want to add a different color in my arsenal in terms of watch. So hopefully we can still find something in the future, in the next few days. When I said that they have a good number of selection in terms of luxury stuff, man, it goes on and on and on and this is just a part of the entire store so for example this bag at 60,000 yen this one at 16,000 yen this one at 80,000 yen that purse for 50,000 yen and that one for 38,000 yen honestly i i have no idea when it comes to women's bag but i feel like these are still deals for you if you're going to ask me i have no idea with women's fashion but this prada looks good for only 28,000 yen right might be a good deal i didn't notice right away they also have some rolex here for 1.6 million yen and this rolex at 1 million yen they have a grand seiko here for 120 yen they also have tons of omega here i feel like they have a better or cheaper pricing compared to the watches that we found at nakano broadway so the first deal has been made for the watch and just to give you a glimpse of the entire place this is massive it really is massive. And now we're going to try and check each and every section. You want shoes? Here they are. You want hype shoes? There you go. Are you planning to add some bare bricks? There you go. You want quality liquor? There you go. You want street clothing? There you go. Something casual? There you go. You want toys? There you go. I am telling you guys, the place goes on and on and on. It feels like it's an endless shopping spree in here. And whatever you ask for, there's a good chance that it is here. There's even a huge selection of golf stuff here. It feels like a kid in me has been unleashed just now because I can't even pace myself to where to start. This is just too much. Even slot machines are here. There's even a gachapon station in the middle. Okay, so I think this is the first thing that I need to do after buying that watch is to look for something that can help me with the cold weather here in Japan. So this is going to be our starting point. Well, not really starting point. Let's say this is going to be our second point. Dude, I even found a Burberry here. It looks so dope, but it's around like what? 14,000 yen. Might be a good buy. There's even a huge selection of leather jackets here. But they're kind of pricey, around 38,000 yen. And this one, I can find it. It's at 18,000 yen. But... Uh, overall, this is not just for me, but it's there. Actually, I can believe that this Supreme is sitting at 8,000 yen only. It looks clean. On top of everything, there are tons of Pokemon cards here as well. And even Dual Master cards. And this Pokemon cards, look at this one. This Charizard is at 2,600 yen only. That Gengar at 440 yen. 
I know there are different generations of cards, but still, that is a Charizard. I used to collect tons of PVC toys, and uh, I kind of feel like I'm relieved right now because I stopped doing that. And as you can see here, this King Cluster sitting at 5,000 yen only. This is a good buy already. But good thing that I am a retired person when it comes to prize items or prize toys. When I started collecting toys, this is the first item that I've always wanted. This is the Vegeta 8 Ichib from Ichiban Kuji and right now it's at 15,000 yen but this is really really big. There are tons of toys or POPs here for one piece. Good selection, good selection. I also used to have this X Plus Gogeta and this one are the, I would say these are the biggest line, the X Plus. They will really eat up space on your luggage. But by, for the price, this is 21,000 yen. This one is at 12,000 yen only. Wow, that's a good price. And this one is 20,000 yen. Whoa, I can't believe that this Ichiban Kuji Porunga sits at 27,500 yen. That's too much. That's too much. You might be wondering, guys, how come I have a good knowledge or have a bit of a background when it comes to anime toys, especially on Dragon Ball. It's because I used to sell this stuff in our country back in Philippines. And now I kind of stopped doing that and I am more focused in doing other stuff like content creation and adding more to my personal life. But all in all, I'm just happy to have that chapter in my life to be, you know, addicted to these things. I still do collect toys. It's just that I don't spend unlike what I used to spend before and I'm more focused to resin statues but somewhere along the way if I'll if I find something that I really like I can easily and definitely pull the trigger right away anyway enough of the boring story let's go back to shopping here at Super Bazaar or the book of Super Bazaar wow this is just massive amazing 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 you see this huge selection it doesn't end the funny part is I came here with my girlfriend and now I can't just, I just can't find her. I'm pretty much sure that she's just somewhere around. Oh, there you are. There she is. Hey, 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 hey. Let me see, let me see. They also have PS5s here ranging around 49,000 yen. Actually, all of them are 49,000 yen and then they have this VR2. That sits at 63,000 yen. I feel like those are justifiable prices or they are worth it. But as of now, I can't pull the trigger for that. Ooh, apparently there's an R18 corner. Let's check. It did not disappoint. Look what I found here, guys. This is an Air Max. And, norm uh, oh, let me... and normally, the SRP for this is around 10,000 yen. But here... It's only 4,000 yen and it is my size. Plus, look at it. It's, it looks so clean. I'm not sure if it's brand new, but there's still the tag here. And I tried it already and it is my size. So definitely, I might cop this one. It's a good deal. It's a steel deal. Almost all stuff that you guys can think of, it's here. Guys, I'm going to use the remaining time that I have here for shopping. And I really do appreciate you spending your time watching my episodes. And hopefully, you will press that subscribe button so you will be notified on our next episode. That is it for me, Mad Corner. I'm out! You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor.